It'll be fun, I think. I focused on him so the flags in the background, the coaster in the background would go out of focus. But 8, 11 split, who knows? It's probably all in focus. Let's sneak up closer on him. It's about as risky as I'm gonna get. Oh! Shooting the black and white on black and white. Okay. Not having my co-star is brutal. It's tough thinking in black and white. All right, welcome back to Sunday Strolls. Today I'm in San Diego, we're at Mission Beach. The theme today, we were gonna do sunny shadows, but it's kind of an overcast morning, so we're gonna just see what we can get with black and white. Today I'm shooting on Cinestills Double X negative, black and white. It's pretty contrasty, so hopefully it brings the contrast where the overcast is kind of killing it. And there's a big bug flying around. Look at that beetle. All right, let's see if we can get this. <laughs> it was coming for you, man. That was pretty good. Not great. All righty. All right, you wanna, I kind of want to head towards the beach. You want to do that? I'll be honest, I'm not very good at shooting black and white. I maybe have shot in 10 rolls of black and white. Hopefully we can improve on that today. There's some contrast right there with the black and white protective San Diego police van. I figured this is kind of contrasting and it's black and white already, so. Here we go, I'm at a five, six at a thousand. Shooting the black and white on black and white. What fits the theme? That's the, right, you kind of have to artistically justify everything you shoot. Let's get a shot of this. Get a little beach background. I'm gonna stop down just a bit. I'm gonna go to F8. Here we go, three, two. Hopefully the texture of the sand is interesting. Well, when you pick a theme, contrasty, and it's a cloudy day, it's kind of tricky to find something to shoot. But we're determined, we're gonna get it. What if I come up on top of this guy and look down at this can? Three, two. That's kind of contrasting, the blue, the blue can against the, the sand there. Let's go see, that surfboard's kind of fun. A 5.6 out of 1,000. Get low with it. Oh, let's try and get the seagull. Here we go. Three, two. Ah, uh, he was probably better on the other side. Maybe we should go get this person fishing out here. That's kind of cool. Contrasted against the ocean. That's a very cinematic shot. Three, two. I wonder if he's actually ever caught anything. Open up just a hair. Try and frame up some tire tracks in there as well. Three, two. These bikes are cool. I'm gonna get a shot of these bikes. Here we go, I want a lot of focus. So that was an F8 at 125th. Kind of fun. Looks like there's some contrast there. Well. Let's see what we can frame up here. Yeah, it's now it's just a waiting game to get someone interesting coming through the frame. Get a picture of you? Sure. <laughs> a picture-ception. It's not for me if my brother gets a kick out of that. He always does it to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a four person. <laughs> a 
fun tandem bike. We're at a 60th at an F16. Let's wait for one more biker. See if we can get someone like that. Oh, here's somebody. We'll see. I'm sure it's all garbage, but we're gonna head towards kind of the more away from the beach and back to the town. This one's fun. This house right here. Is it contrasty? I don't know. Is there some shadows on it? Not really, but it's fun. Three, two. Try to frame up the mailboxes in there. It's kind of a fun little chair. Got the grill. Fun about that scene, I like that. Three, two, one. See, my head is contrasty, but in black and white, I don't know if it's gonna read because it's stripping all the color out of it. Let's head this way. Man, it seems like the clouds are kind of clearing up. Maybe we'll get some hard, hard light on everything here soon. You got the crazy power lines going every which way. Here we go, find a good focus point. We're at F11. Here we go, three, two. That's kind of fun, all the power lines going everywhere. Three, two. You're good, man. The black and white checkers. I'm gonna come in and frame up this bike with this in the background there. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. It's kind of fun. Hopefully that tells somewhat of a story with the little bike in there. Oof, got to open way up. Three, two, one. Pizza pasta. Five, six here. Try and frame up the palm tree in the background there. Three, two, one. It's kind of cool. Those orange chairs would be cool too. It'd be much more fun in color, but... Thanks. That's kind of fun. Now I gotta take the glasses off. I can't quite see all the frame lines. Here we go, three, two. And hopefully I caught the guy in the red hat, not that it'll come across in black and white, but I'm excited about that one. That one's gonna be cool. I like the way the street light kind of frames up that back half of the coaster there. So we'll try and catch the coaster coming down that way. Here we go, three, two. You get it? I think I got it. I like this one way and the sushi sign in the back. Three, two. That'll be cool. There's clouds out there, they're kind of fun. Let's see if we can frame those up with these three little seagulls right here. Oh, I scared them away. Three, two, one. Some little tiny boats. Three, two. Focused on this one and let the other ones kind of fall off. Oh, the fishing poles in here look cool. Here we go, we're in F8 at one over a thousand here. Three, two, one. It's kind of fun, this little kid's chair right here. Three, two. Maybe it's more fun instead of just, just to focus just on nothing but the chair, you know? Three, two. Yeah, that tells a little more of a story than trying to get everything in one frame. Maybe it's kind of fun to get these two palm trees and you got the clouds kind of cutting through. Trying to isolate them. Three, two. I got one more, I think. Three, two, one. It was kind of fun because she was framed up right in the middle of the gap of the family. The covered couch. Three, two. That's it. 
the roll is done. Man, my lens was dirty. She's running like Captain Jack Sparrow. You seen that? It was kind of rough shooting solo. Normally you have a buddy to kind of bounce ideas off and you kind of get in this creative state of bouncing things off of each other. And when you creatively jive with them, it's a fun energy to be around. And not having that today was a little interesting. And I feel like it was kind of a slower start. I feel like we picked it up and got into it. It's more enjoyable with a friend. So if you're going to shoot and bring a buddy, don't shoot alone. The shot I'm most excited about, I'd say right now, is a guy on a bike, his back of his head, looking up at the roller coaster. And I focused on his head, tried to blur the roller coaster in the background, get a nice bokeh on it. I think that one would be fun. Is it contrasty? Sure. Does it fit the theme? I think in a way, yeah. But so far I think the shot I'm looking forward to is the tight on the guy's head with the roller coaster in the background or the wide version of that. Well, I think I caught a few people crossing in the foreground and then the coaster was going up and around on it. I think that's gonna be cool. The biggest challenge for me today, I'd say, was trying to find things to fit the theme when it was so overcasty. Not many shadows being tossed around. The original thing we wanted to do was with sunny shadows. With black and white, it's so much fun to find a really contrast situation and capture those moments. But today was kind of a tough theme considering it was cloudy. Man, the hardest part about black and white, because I've only shot a couple rolls of it, they've all been pretty bad, is trying to see the world in black and white. To have to think of different grayscales and different tones, and it's tricky to see that in the real world. If you guys are enjoying this, please subscribe, comment your favorite photo, and uh, we'll try and keep, keep them coming every week. Go shoot some stuff. Color if you have it, black and white is all I had. Just kidding, I had some portrait, but episode six, black and white.